fellow cosplayers in and welcome back to cosplay Halloween 2020 so um so in today's video this is actually this is not gonna be the last one you guys will be seeing but this will be the last one that I am filming for um cosplay Halloween this year but yeah, so in today's video, as you saw by the title, today I am going to be doing a evil clown, a creepy clown for you guys. Like, to be honest, like, y'all know that I could not get by, um, doing like some clown, get by Halloween with doing like a clown or like an evil clown or like an evil jester, cause like I've done Quite a few in the past, let's be honest. Even though, like, last year I did Pennywise, which I did my first year. But, um... But, uh, yeah, so, enough with the chit-chat. Let's get into the tutorial. <laughs> start out this look, I just went ahead and blocked out my brows, and, um, uh, and now what I am gonna do is I'm gonna be taking my witch hazel and some tissue paper, and I'm gonna be using the witch hazel to clean off clean off um, my chin area because I am going to be applying a prosthetic over that and I just, the key thing for, for doing like prosthetic makeup is to make sure your skin is completely clean. Okay, so for the next step, I am going to be the prosthetic, so I'm going to be taking this, uh, rubberware elongated chin, and, like, this is the first, um, as you can see, I opened it, because, like, whenever I, like, I have this insatiable habit of, like, just opening packages when they come. But yeah, I was going to get a brow for this look as well, but they were sold, the shop I was buying it from sold out, so I uh, just got to make do of what you have. But yeah, so I'm going to, for adhesive, um, I'm going to be taking my Cillabond silicone glue from European Body Art. And applying that with a Q-tip on my chin. Now this is, Cillabond is expensive, so... So if you are on a budget, Prosade would work a lot, would be a better option because it's cheaper. Um... Oh, damn. Now actually I'm gonna use a sponge. I would also stay away, I'd also stay away from like, spirit gum, I, was, I would stay away from spirit gum because I just find like, it just doesn't seem to hold well. I should have, like... And it also seems to get... To leave my skin very, um... 
Uh, stick in. Let's just put that on. Ooh, this stuff dries really fast. So scared and okay. Now there is no going back. Let's see. This stuff sticks really well, to be honest with you, but it is a lot more expensive. Yeah. Oh, I like how this chin looks. It's very, like, gives me kind of like a Lucifer type vibe. This is also significantly better for on the chin. Or on the chin as well. Oh, we got a wrinkle down here as well. You know what? Screw it. It's that's just how things are gonna have to be. Yeah. Yeah, I do like this chin. It kind of reminds me of. Okay, so for the next step, I am gonna be taking my Prose Cream slash Bondo, and I am gonna be taking that on a Q-tip. And for anyone that's new here, Prosate Cream is used for like, um, um, it can be used for a lot of things. It can be used to create, um, wounds, uh, Wounds, it can be used to block your eyebrows, which is what I use to cover my eyebrows. Um, it can, but it's also used to, um, it's also used to create prosthetic transfers. Um, but it's also used to, like, blend out the edges of prosthetics, especially foam latex, because foam latex prosthetics are usually very thick. And, yeah, so, so... 
it really helps to blend in the prosthetic well. Okay, so for the next step is I'm going to start painting and what I'm going to be using here is not black whipped cream or cream cheese. It's actually called Pax Paint. And what this basically is, it's a 50-50 mixture of Rosade and acrylic paint. And you need, and it's used primarily to paint foam latex, um, latex pieces, especially foam latex because foam latex will, you can either, <laughs> this kind of like seals the paint the prosthetic you can either you can also use like just regular rosette and I am just putting some on my eyebrow covers to seal it but you need to seal a foam latex prosthetic because if you don't uh, the paint will the foam will uh, um, suck up any other paint and it won't appear as vibrant. And the color won't appear as vibrant. I think I made way too much packs for this look, but who cares? And, yeah, I made a lot of Pax paint. I think I may have made too much, but who cares? I can, maybe I could save it for another, yeah, I'll probably save it for another look I got. Another thing that Pax Paint is good is, um, I uh, like painting your hands as well. I find it works good because, like, usually, uh, normal body paint will, because your hands move, normal body paint will, like, um, will, um, will, like, crack, and I find, and cream paint will also, and cream paint will, um, uh, will, uh, spread because it doesn't dry down. Whether with Pax paint, it's it's like since it's like technically a mixture of a glue. It's technically a mixture of a glue, so
it like dries down like this. I did like a little swatch on my hand, but yeah, it doesn't, it won't transfer or anything. So yeah, it's great if you want to like wear it to like a convention or a comic con. Not this year for obvious reasons, but like not for comic con 2020, but like for comic con. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to be taking my Kryolan bruise wheel and the brush that I'm going to be using is KB slash 00 Ben Nye by Ben Nye and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be drawing out like um Clowns. Smile. Ooh, now I look like a, Now I'm looking like an evil villain. Another thing about Pax paint is that because it dries down, you can actually. Okay, so what I was saying is, sorry, my camera just died, but uh, I had to charge it. But uh, yeah, you had to. Um, you can. Uh, you can actually go over it with. Uh, other paints without it smudging together which I think is pretty dang convenient okay so for the next step I'm gonna be taking my eh, bond out again if I can get this open. Yes, I can. Um. Smile higher. You could use latex, but... I'm cotton, but I'm out of cotton. And I'm too lazy to go out and get more cotton. Yeah, I think it's time to switch to time lapse. Okay, so for the next step, I'm gonna be taking my Wolf FX Black face paint in the, uh, my Wolf FX Black face paint, I mean. And I am going to be, as I said, as always, I'm taking a couple drops of water, adding that in. And what I'm going to be doing is filling in the
I'm just taking that like so. Oh, and I hit it. Ah! Ah! I hate it when that happens. I'm gonna switch to time lapse now. I am now taking my uh, Krylon TV paint stick and painting a clown light. Actually, I think a brush and a sponge would be better to blend this out. I think I should. Oh yeah. Well. Okay, and I'll just take it a little bit on my spatula. Yeah. I am now taking my Johnson's baby powder and like setting setting it in place. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to be taking the blue shade from my Morphe James Charles palette. And what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using that to Thank you. 
Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to be taking some, uh, the red from that palette and I'll be using that on the very, like, Harley Quinn type vibe. Okay, so for the next step, I'm taking the same brush in the Morphe James, in the black from the Morphe James Charles palette, and what I'm going to be doing is using that to like contour, like so. Some like crow's feet. make my clown look a little bit older. And just... Put some... And, well, I think this would have been a better idea to put the And just some shading around.
Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, so for the next step, I'm taking the red from my blush palette and just be adding, giving our clown a nose. And I'm just going to set it with some red eyeshadow. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to be taking my spatula and dipping it in the Jordan, drawing dark blood, and just be like... Adding a couple of drips right there. To make it look like my that I just ate someone. that completes my video for the for today I hope you guys enjoy this look honestly <laughs> this look is looking like I know I'm saying that because I have a phobia of clowns but this looks so fucking creepy <laughs> oh god Honestly, I think this could be in the next clown movie. I know there has been a lot of creepy clowns. Um, like we've got, uh, we've got, uh, Pennywise, which I've actually done twice in two Halloweens in a row. Uh, we've got, um, we got, uh, the killer clowns from outer space. We got Twisty the Clown from American Horror Stories. We got Art the Clown from Terrifier. And a lot more other clowns. So, like, comment. Like, I honestly think this could be the next, um, uh, um, uh, um, the next, um, killer clown in a movie. So, if you guys believe me and, like, what, what, what should we call this clown? Should it be Fatso the Clown? Or no, 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 that, that's, isn't that the bear from Toy Story 3? Oh, uh, yeah, let's call it Fazo the clown yeah that, that sounds good but yeah let's yeah like comment below um comment below on if you think this should be in a in the should be in a horror movie um we'll start off a tip um, I mean a petition and who knows maybe a producer will see it and then by this time next year We'll be, like, at that time, we'll most likely be out of pandemic land. Um, this time next year, we'll be in our, in the movie theater, because, like I just said, watching Bazo the Clowns, the Attack of Bazo the Clown, or whatever. But yes, yeah, so... All products used will be listed in the video description below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, 
because I will be uploading several Halloween videos during the month of October. Actually, this is the last week. Damn it. I'm gonna miss posting for Halloween. But, um, yeah, so, and comment below what you're gonna be for Halloween. I, I don't know what I'm gonna be, um, I'm, for Halloween I might go as, a uh, Piper from Orange is the New Black. Uh, but yeah, be sure to, um, oh yeah, and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And yeah, so, until next time, bye!